The first thing to know about training LLMs is that it's not one monolithic process. It's a whole stack of training processes. The first stage is self-supervised learning. This stage is what people traditionally think of when we use the term language modeling. It involves getting lots of unannotated or raw data and learning to predict missing pieces of it. The pieces aren't really missing, we're just hiding them from the model. So in the case of language modeling, this can take the form of predicting the next word in a sentence. In this example, we have text that came from a weather website. If we ask the model to predict the next word, it has to learn something about language and the domain of weather to generate a plausible answer. The words on the right represent a ranked list of its predictions. It ranges all the way from likely answers like day or night to less plausible ones like month. All the way at the bottom are words that should be assigned very low probability because they would be nonsensical. This process is called self-supervision because it's not exactly unsupervised learning. There is a specific right answer which is the word that actually appeared in the text we collected. In this case, night. We're just hiding it from the model. Self-supervised learning is very powerful because that cheap data leads to learning a lot of useful knowledge. But the big advances in the last couple of years have come from, be come from going beyond self-supervised learning. Now, that's just the starting point for further training. The next stage is supervised learning. In this stage, the model is explicitly trained to follow instructions, which is why it's now often called instruction tuning. The model is trained to perform a variety of tasks from summarization to question answering and inference. Our research team at Snorkel, along with many collaborators, proposed this to improve LLMs alongside concurrent work from Google. We showed that it led the LLM to better generalize to new unseen tasks. And for this reason, instruction tuning has become a standard part of LLM training. With instruction tuning complete, the model is now trained explicitly to be a helper. It's responding to requests beyond just predicting the next words and sentences. But today, LLM training still doesn't stop there. The final stage is reinforcement learning. In this stage, the model isn't told exactly what to produce, but it does have its outputs graded. This is useful for encouraging fuzzier concepts like brevity and discouraging things to avoid like harmful language. This kind of reinforcement learning was proposed by OpenAI soon after instruction tuning came out. As this diagram from their paper shows, it starts with a language model that has already received supervised training. Then human annotations about which outputs are better than others are used to train a reward model that can provide rewards at scale. For this reason, it's often called reinforcement learning from human feedback. So with that, the training stack is complete. We have three different kinds of training that all go toward making LLMs as capable as they are. 